Hello YouTube, this is Shorts on Fire 79 and today we're launching a new Moonbase, uh, dubbed Moonbase Beta, uh, like a playoff of uh, Moonbase Alpha, the game released by NASA. And um, this is probably my, let's say, 23rd try launching the rocket. Uh, most of the time it explodes on the pad, sometimes it get up maybe 20 me uh, kilometers and blow up, or some sort of mayhem. So uh, this is probably my fifth redesign of the rocket, and it finally made it. It was ridiculously spinny and hard to control because the lag, or it was probably about five or, or one frame for every five or six seconds. So I'd hit a button, wait five seconds, and then it'd react. Or hit another button, wait five seconds, and it'd give me a reaction. So I kind of just um, struggled my way through it. I did a lot of quick saves. Uh, you'll notice that there are a lot of cuts, but um, this is the best way I could do it. I tried Mech Jab a couple of times, but it would launch the rocket. It would go maybe 15 kilometers up, and then it would start spinning ridiculously, and then crash and blow up or whatever. So I just had to let it. I had to do it myself, and it was difficult. And uh, yeah, I ended up using Mech Jab at the end. You'll see that <clears throat> this is all po uh, post recorded, of course, but. Uh, Hopefully you enjoy the video regardless, and I'll see you at the end. So here's a good way to show you the lag. Um, I'm approaching the orbit now, and I hit X, and uh, I throttled up again, and I will hit X right now. And you can see how much I drift over the orbit, because about, well, I don't know how many seconds that was, but that's how long it took for it to stop. That's what I was dealing with the entire time. It was actually worse when I first started, because of all the pieces that I had. Now that I only have just the lander, it's not, that, not as bad. Hey guys, real time update here. Um, so I've been using MechJeb because since there's like a six second delay with every button I push, I'm just too frustrated to even try to do it by hand. So uh, I tried maybe mm, seven or eight times just to get my ship into retrograde before giving up and going with the smart ASS. And so now I'm using the landing autopilot to hopefully get me to the arch. Um, by the looks of things, it might be able to get me there. Um, I've never used any of this mech jet before except for the ascent, which I don't really like because it ends up flipping my rockets anyways. So uh, I have 400 liters of, well I had 400 liters of fuel for each set of four engines, so we'll see how far that gets us. Uh, looks like I have about 350 left. Um, I've been at this for, let's say, four and a half hours just for one ship. Well, actually just for this rocket to get to the moon. Uh, I spent numerous days trying to get the stupid rocket to even launch because it would always just blow up on the launch pad or run out of fuel before it got out of uh, the atmosphere. So this is what I'm working with now. Um, let's see how well this mech jeb stuff works. It's kind of just like tossing my rocket all over the place and not even using RCS, but um, we'll see. All right.
So at some point in time, after numerous crashes into the arch at too high of a velocity and too steep of a uh, declination, I decided that we're just going to land in the closest trajectory, or the closest area on the trajectory of the rocket. So um, I just picked some location. It looks like it's 19 degrees north and 4 degrees east. And um, as we came in, I realized that screw landing at the target that I randomly chose. Uh, I'm just going to tell it to land wherever the hell it can. So I clicked on the land button right about like now, I guess. No? Yeah, now. Okay. And uh, let it do its thing. It uh, did a pretty good job. And so we've landed now. Next up is the lunar excursion. Uh, so right now I have deployed the solar panels and I have moved Shepser into the landing or the rover. So now we're gonna detach the rover and get them to get him back in the lander and put the rover on the other side of the crater. Uh, this is probably the nine or tenth time I've do done this. Um, most of the time it was a fail, but actually the last one was a uh, success, and I recorded it and everything, but my computer crashed. So I'm just recording this part, and then I will cut away, and we will be back to where I had landed, or I had parked the rover next to the lander, and I had already moved Shepser back into the lander. <clears throat> so um, I what I've done is I've edited these strut parts because they were just too strong for the uh, rover to get off so I had their tolerance and stuff be zero set to zero right, yeah. deployed and these struts are significantly weaker than they should be mm, that Yes, okay, breaks. Alright, so we've landed, and I'm gonna cut back to the other video. Uh, yeah, you can see how messed up these parts are <laughs> right here. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we have, um, we've closed the distance, and so we're now 29, practically 30 kilometers out. And, uh, at top left, you can see that we've been driving for about an hour. Um, this is pretty much real time, because you can't fast forward while you're on the terrain and you can't transfer vehicles because you I'm on terrain so like if I so you can't switch the vessels so I've been driving by hand and um, I've crashed several times so I've had to uh, um, restart and everything and it's terrible because I can't see the ground really and uh, all of a sudden I just fly into the air and do a somersault and blow up or crash and whatever so like that you saw that we just like jolted a little bit those are happening all over the place all right less than a kilometer out 0.5 kilometers getting close we're getting close it's visible now here we go here we go start start hitting the brakes I went the wrong direction. Oh well. Front door service. Bam. Quick save that. Uh, okay. So we finally made it. Now to uh, get all the ro or the guys over.
guys, we're now less than a kilometer away from the moon base, and so uh, made it back in just over three hours. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this movie video is probably really boring because it was incredibly boring for me. Um, so hopefully you'll watch the next one. Um, I'm gonna try and put up a couple of uh, satellites, some small ones, maybe a rather large one. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I haven't even started constructing them yet either, but I've been seeing some cool ones online. So, um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, uh, rate it, comment, subscribe, upvote, whatever I leave this on. Uh, thank you a lot, and um, I will see you all next time.